back to my channel. It's your girl Sharon, aka the Mel and the Nostalgic Runner. And we are back again for another episode of The Real Housewives of Potomac. And this is season. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This is season nine. Episode six is called Shady Waters. Now, my thumbnail was not that hard to figure out this time around because I've got some questions. Okay. <laughs> That is what I'm, that is, been, that was a theme for me. Not shady waters. It was more like, I've got some questions. Um, so without further ado, let's get into the episode. This review probably won't be too long because not a lot happened this episode. Actually, ironically, the episode before that, which only really comprised of two different things, had way more going on than this one did. Um, still was an enjoyable episode. I did like the episode before that a little bit more. But I get why, because there just was a little bit more drama last time. And But anyway, we're continuing off where we left off when it comes to that drama. And where we left off was um, Stacy was asking Karen, like, hey, did you, do you need to go to rehab? Like, is that a thing? Did you say that? And Karen's like, no, no, honey, no. <laughs> She's, she's trying to reassure, like, I promise you, if I needed that, I would let y'all know that. Like, that's not a thing. And, um, you know, as far as whether she needs it or not, who knows? Like, but yeah. So Stacey's like, okay, okay. And as they're having the conversation, it was at first just Karen and Stacey, but then Jazzy joined them. Kiana joined them and then Ashley also joined them kind of in the back lurking in the back like a creeper um but long story less long um Karen's like you know what I'm just upset that you know Karen that uh, Mia will go there it's like you know I don't need rehab I mean I know she's been to rehab before and I was like wait what she's like yeah like that's why she started the joint chiropractor thing to like help combat her issues with um opioids I was like wow and so all the ladies pretty much was like okay this is too much this is too much so that kind of put the kibosh on the back and forth <laughs> and and that so um Stacey was like yeah this is too much this isn't it and I wonder if that's gonna come back up because it did not come back up at all this episode but I have a feeling it will come back up at another time. It just, I don't know. Um, side note. So I think I mentioned before, um, the, I think actually last video I had for this um, particular show. Um, yeah, this is the mic I normally use when I'm in here. But I, um, I don't like the sound quality of that mic as much. And I think... I'm trying to still figure things out. It might be just this room though. So if with this mic, I'm still having the issues, I can't film in this room. Um, and that'll, that'll just be that. But let me know in the comments if it sounds better this way versus not. I know when I'm not on video, um, I can control more because I have this all the way here. Um, but I, I talk with my hands. So I don't really want to have to do that. So, yeah, anyway, um, so as that, after that happened, then all the ladies kind of pretty much one by one all go to the pool to kind of chillax for a little bit um, as they're waiting for, they're pretty much waiting for Giselle to arrive and for the day to start. Um, so um, Karen, like pretty much all the ladies are there. They talk a little bit about TJ. Um, that situation's interesting, we know that. And then, um, pretty much the, the theme of this episode, because again, not a lot happened, was the talking about TJ, and then talking about Jazzy's relationship with Darius. And I also have questions on that too. And then, um, yeah, those are like the two main plots that's happened. There's other things happen in there too, but I would say that's the main thing. And then of course it is um, Wendy's birthday. And so that also is a thing too. So um, basically though, um, 
they talk about TJ and then Ashley then talks about her divorce because the ladies ask, um, you know, Trace, uh, Stacy, like, hey, like how soon, how far are you into getting divorced? And she's like, we're no, we're nowhere near. Like they, at this point, um, at this time, um, not, not currently, but while, while the show's filming, um, they did not have any, they weren't able to agree on the um, deliberation stuff to get to deliberation. Like they, they still don't have the terms completely agreed upon. So that's still kind of tricky. I am curious to know if during the season we'll get more information and if they ever get further along or what happens there. But then we find out that Ashley's actually further along in the process than um, Stacy. Now, whether Ashley actually does a divorce or not, I don't believe it. I'll believe it when I see it. But basically, we find out Ashley's meeting for deliberation, like, I guess within the week or so um, after, like, they get back. So that way now, once they do deliberation, then the divorce can pretty much be finalized whenever she's ready to, like, file whatever. So that's a huge step. Um, but it's Ashley saying this and she's been dragging this divorce storyline for like two seasons. This is a third season. So who knows? And then kind of still in the same subject, cause they're just talking about a lot of relationships here in this episode. Um, you know, Karen's like, you know, I much rather prefer to be engaged before I move on out of, you know, the divorce because Karen also was has been divorced before. So Ray's like her second husband. And so Kiana's like, well, I mean, KK, you know, I'm about to call her KK because I'm so, I feel bad I keep messing up her name. Um, and I, it's, it mainly happens when I'm really tired and I'm kind of tired. So KK, um, she mentions that her and Greg, she likes how they're doing things. Um, as in like, she's not in a hurry to get married. She wants to, basically simulate with Greg and his family because you know she's basically a bonus bonus mom um and so she wants to do that first before anything else with them moving in together and I mean to each her own um I guess for me I don't see myself moving in with someone ever again unless <laughs> you know I I'm at that point now I've tried it a couple times before that, and the last time where it happened, I actually, I actually almost did get engaged, but I kind of sabotaged it because I just, it just wasn't like we we weren't compatible really. So, um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I, again, I think it's to each their own. When it comes to my parents, they did that before they got married. I tried it that way. I wouldn't recommend <laughs> and at this point you know yeah I don't know if I'll ever move in with anyone ever in general just because I have kind of gotten really used to like doing my own thing but that's just me I'm kind of on the I feel like I'm like more on the Giselle side of things right now <laughs> when it comes to my life like I'm good with just doing my own thing going on dates here and there having some fun here and there but then that's it <laughs> But anyway, um, not about me. Let's move on here. So then um, Jazzy and then Jazzy talks about her and Darius being engaged. And we're still getting the same tidbits that we've been getting this whole time when it comes to her. We get to the tea later on. Don't worry. But like, we're still getting tidbits. Um, we know that he has children from previous relationships. Um, two kids. I'm not, I still wasn't. I think towards the end we found out it was one baby mama, but, and I don't know if, I'm not even sure if it's a baby mama. I'm not even sure, child, I have questions. <laughs> That's why I said I have questions. Anyway, um, and then Wendy shows up looking like a snack per usual. And then from there, everyone's there. Um, I asked Giselle, Giselle's not there quite yet. And Stacy starts dancing. And Stacy does not know how to work. She's like, that's not my deal. Stacy can't dance. She thinks she can, but she can't. 
<laughs> Even her two stepping on beat it is giving me Elaine from like Seinfeld. Like, I think Giselle actually might be able to dance better than her. And we know Giselle can't dance either. I don't know. I don't know what it is with the extra pretty in the face kind of girls can't dance. I don't know. <laughs> I'm confused. Anyway, again, I have questions. That's the thing. Um, <laughs> but then Mia starts twerking because she shows up and starts twerking. And she immediately goes to, um, to Kay and starts twerking all over Kay. And, Kay, and, then, um, <laughs> and then Wendy's like, oh, this looks familiar. Twerking for forgiveness. And then they pan the flashback of the Miami trip. When Mia was twerking all over Wendy after she did what she did to Wendy. Twerking for forgiveness. I don't get it. Anyway. So then after that, Giselle is finally there. She's back. And she recaps a little bit about how her girls are graduating. I mean, they graduated. And she's officially empty nester. And she's like, you know, my job is done. <laughs> And it seems like Giselle's actually taking it in stride. So I'm actually kind of, I'm proud of her. Um, and I never thought I would say that because, I don't know, say the past. I don't know, after season two of Potomac, I did not like Giselle. And now I'm back to liking her again because she's kind of reminding me of season one and two, Giselle. But yeah, anyway, she shows up. And then immediately Jazzy comes to her and tries to give her the recap of what's been going on. And Jazzy's got, J Jazzy's has a little bit of a case of bad, case of bad telephones. So some of it wasn't quite right what she said, but Giselle got, got the gist of it. And she's like, whoa, okay, a lot has went on while I was gone. And then from there, then... All the girls kept trying to recap her, but then everyone just showed up and then was like, okay, it's time for Wendy's deal. And so um, they are now, fast forward, all the ladies are heading out. And yeah. And we find out they are heading out to um, Charlotte. So I didn't, I guess I, I didn't know where Blake Norman is in correlation to Charlotte, but clearly he's not that far away. And so they're going to Charlotte and they're going to Mia's joint chiropractic franchise that she used to own, but she doesn't anymore. And on the way there, um, Giselle is basically grilling, and I mean grilling, Stacy and this whole thing with TJ. And all the other ladies that, so Giselle's here, Stacy's here. Wendy's here, and then the ladies are in the and like behind, and they are just they're giving her such a bad time when it comes to this whole situation because again, we've got questions because we find out, and we kind of already knew this, but like she really she solidified that this him not wanting to have sex before marriage is completely his idea. It was not a joint idea. And it's odd. It's all very odd. And then we also find out he's an actor. Odd. Very odd. And now I'm worried for her. Because now I feel like she... Okay, I think I figured it out. I think old boy is using her. I think he's using her. Because it's not like he's like an actor that's like a mainstream actor. He is, and she was trying to describe it and zhuzh it up. And I was like, no, 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 honey. He is like, he's an actor, but like, he's not, like, we don't know him for real. Like, so we find out his government name and we see all his different, and he has an IMMD, like he has an IMMD, like, but still, he's, like, not a mainstream actor. Like, he's just kind of, like, a side. Like, he's always, like, has, like, a side role. Like, he's not, like, extra, but he's, like, right above extra, if that makes any sense. And so, I'm like, okay. And now you're on this show, and he wants to date you now? I don't know. 
I don't know. I don't trust it. I, I don't, tr I just don't trust it. <laughs> I have questions and hopefully we find out more as the season transpires. But even Giselle's like, hmm, hmm. And, but straight, Stacey actually kind of shaded her in the confessional. She's like, you know, I'm good with just holding off before marriage and being with someone versus being alone like you. I was like, oh. And I'm like, okay. That was a decent, that was a decent read. But I will say this. It didn't land the way you thought it landed. Because me, the way I'm made up, I'd rather be Giselle over you any day when it comes to that. I am not. <laughs> At least if I'm single, I can get to it when I want to, okay? <laughs> Let's. <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> moving on. So, um, they show up and they're at the joint chiropractic place and no one, she doesn't know anyone there. It's just really awkward. And everyone's like, why are we here? And then they actually get to go to the room. So the Dr. McDaddy, whatever they call, call him, he wasn't there. It was like, it was all a lie. It was all a lie because me would be lying. <laughs> and then she goes into this whole entire spiel about how like she no longer has this franchise. She still has, um, I guess like 15 other ones or whatever she said, and she's gonna be selling those too. And it's like, and everyone's giving her literally this look for a couple reasons. I think partially people are just like, why are we here? Cause it's supposed to be Wendy's birthday, number one. So for Wendy's birthday, you wanna go to your thing and be like, hey, look at me. And then also the other thing is, no one believes her. I know no one believes her because I don't. I was like, child, I don't believe anything that comes out of her mouth. Like, she'd be lying. I'm like, child. Anyway, they don't stay very long and they go off to lunch because it was awkward. And, like, no one was talking. Everyone just had a stank look on their face. And, uh, and it was kind of funny to me because I was just like, that would have been me if I was there. But anyway, they go to lunch. And once they get to lunch, um... You know, Giselle's like just trying to catch it to get the tea. Like, what's going on? What's, what was happening? I heard a lot. What's going on while I was gone? Like, what happened? And, um, and then mainly, and then mainly Giselle did check on Kay. Cause for those who don't know, Giselle's actually close with Kay, like actually. So she really was checking up on her, like actually, like she was friends with her before the show. Like, before Kay was on this show. So she's like, yeah, are you good? She's like, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Um, and she's like, yeah. And um, and then, then Giselle's like, well, Ashley, did you apologize to her? She's like, I did actually, I already did. And then me, and then Kay was like, yeah, I feel like you did on top of Mia's apology. But anyway, and then somehow, some way, Mia and Kay started going back and forth again. And it was so awkward. No one wanted it. And then <laughs> the food came right on time. And then it, then they stopped. I was like, okay, good. <laughs> Bowles was like, whoop, okay. Oh, side note. So <sighs> Wendy's saying she really enjoyed her birthday. Um, and there was something that happened at the end where I was like, okay, that was heartfelt. But girl... The bar is low when it comes to your 40th birthday. I would have been so upset if this is what you, what I was doing on my birthday. Just going, staying in the house, eating food, going out to eat, going back to the house. Like, child, it's so boring. That is not vacation. I would have been upset. And also, too, you're only in like, you're like in North Carolina. Sorry, but like, I went to Puerto Rico on my birthday. So like, that's kind of, I'm just like, what are we doing? And I'm not even a housewife. And I feel like I did my 40th third and like what I'm seeing here. But anyway, if you like it, I love it. Wendy, I, I, I just, I wish you just had a higher bar for yourself when it comes to this. But maybe you're being nice for the show and like the fact that like you're, you're happy because you're hanging out with other people outside your family for your birthday. Cause, and you actually did say that in the dinner toast. And so, yeah, yeah. And I'm skipping ahead a little bit. But anyway. So before the dinner, though. So before that, they're taking shots. They're like, shot, 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 shot. 
Like they're they're doing the shots and like yeah of course, and then Mia decides she's going to deep throat the bottle that she's taking the shot out of and then drink it. And number one, first my first reaction was ill because it almost came up, so I was like ill. But then after that, she was like, and that's how you get two men at the same time. I'm like. And side note, I was talking to two of my close, close friends like two days ago about this show. Mia's so loving hip hop. I just can't. <laughs> I feel like I'm not watching a housewife show with Mia on this. It's like she belongs on love and hip hop. She does not belong on this show. I'm just saying. But I mean, she's really kind of the only one that's doing anything. So I don't know. I'm just... I have questions. Anyway. <laughs> um, so then after that, oh, side note, this whole entire episode, Jacqueline just kept saying a whole bunch of weird comments and things that didn't make any sense. And it was all very like thirsty. It was all thirsty and very like annoying. And like, I feel like no one wants her there. I don't even think Mia wants her there at this point because she's just kind of embarrassing herself. Like, and I, I've never not, I'm like, girl, if you don't get off my screen. <laughs> I, I hate that, I feel that way, but it's just kind of like, cause I did feel bad a little bit um, when Mia did her dirty that one season or two seasons ago, but now I'm just kind of like, you kind of got what you deserve there. You're just, uh, I, I, she's kind of a pick me and it's giving she's in love with Mia. It's weird. It's very weird. And even if you're like, you know, putting on for like the show, girl, it's the wrong road. It's not, you don't, it makes you look crazy. But anyway, um, so then before that, before the dinner, um, we do have a brief little moment with Giselle and Ashley talking to each other, just one-on-one. -on -one. And <sighs> Ashley wants to be Candace so badly. <laughs> Between that Bob and her confessional and now wanting to release music. I know technically Ashley did it first, but like, girl, Girl, that's all I'm going to say. It's like here and there on the show. I know not all y'all are Candace fans. I personally liked Candace. I just have moments where I'm like, hmm, the ghost of Candace is still here. It's mainly with Ashley because Ashley ain't got nothing to do without her. She has nothing to do without her at all. And it's clear. Like even the thing, even when she was talking to Giselle briefly about this um, song, that she made into EDM song, which by the way, did not sound EDM at all. And Giselle was right about that. She's like, yeah, that didn't, I thought it was going to be actually like, mm, mm, mm. it wasn't that, it was something else. And then Giselle and her confessional <laughs> actually had some rhythm for a little bit for her, for her. And kind of made the song a song. She's like, yeah, you could do that. And I was like, okay, Giselle, okay. Um, anyway. So they head out, they get in the Sprinter van and they head out to dinner. Oh, and by the way, all the ladies are wearing red minus Wendy. Wendy's wearing all white with like this nice little hat that says 40 on it. And she's looking like a snack per usual. Actually, all the ladies look good. Um, other than Jacqueline. Jacqueline just looks awkward because she always looks awkward. Oh, side note. One of the weird random things she said during the lunch was about her losing weight. And no one asked her. And I think that's the problem. She just pipes up for no reason and it's out of nowhere. It makes no sense. There's no flow of, it's like she talks just to hear herself talk type situation because it never has anything to do with anything being said. That's kind of, I'm wondering which, if y'all feel that way, but I feel that way. It is really annoying and just kind of messes up the flow. But anyway, so then, um, in their sprinter van on the way to the dinner. And they're going back to Charlotte to um, go to a rooftop dinner. And 
I will say that the dinner was very, very nice. Like that would probably have been the main part of the trip that I would have loved the most was the dinner and also the house. The house was good too, along with getting like the, um, the breakfast. That breakfast looked great. <laughs> like Mia did that when it came to the food situation. So I will give her that. But as far as like the her as a host, no ma'am, no ma'am. And um, as far as like the activities outside of like the house and going out to eat, also no ma'am. Anyway, um, so they are at this rooftop place and um, I'm trying to think what happened here. Um, oh, no, on the way to the rooftop place, okay. They are playing a game of F, Mary Kill. And it's fun, it's cute, but most of the ladies, long story less long, want to kill Jacqueline. <laughs> but Jacqueline does this speech, this weird speech. It's like, yeah, it feels good to be hated. And she hasn't, the gag is like, they kind of mean it. Like, girl, like it wasn't, it's not, <laughs> they, they want her to go away. <laughs> And anyway, so then they do get to the dinner. Fast forward, they get to the dinner. They're celebrating Wendy. Wendy has this very heartfelt speech um, talking about how she's actually very appreciative of this celebration because she just never felt like anyone has ever celebrated her outside her family. So I do get why, back to what I said at the beginning of the bar being kind of low for Wendy, but it actually kind of makes sense when you see Wendy overall in this show. Um, the bar was low for her when it comes to how she's been treated by others, it seems like. And I don't like that for her because she's, she's a bad bitch. <laughs> I'm like, girl, I need you to realize you're the Beyonce in your life. And I know she does, but like... Next year, the, the birthday has to be stepped up. Like, y'all go out the country or something. Like, this was just, this was a cute start, and then we're working our way up. Like, I want you to have that kind of energy. That's, that's pretty much all I'm saying there. But anyway, she kind of does explain that when she first, you know, was on the show, she was having a really tough time. She was having really bad bouts of postpartum depression, and a lot and you know she wasn't comfortable in her own body she she fixed that got her body to what she wants it to be and then she was navigating that and now she's truly comfortable in her own skin and it's like that's beautiful to hear like i love that for her i, I love that and honestly mid-30s 40s that is when it happens um i would say it got fully activated for me when i turned 40 also like, there's just things I won't tolerate anymore. And I don't know what it is about the milestone birthdays, but it does change things. And, but I, I noticed it was slowly transitioning as I was getting closer. I'm wondering if she was like that too, but I just noticed little by little certain things I was like, oh no, ma'am. <laughs> like, what gets me is just when you look back, the things that I would have tolerated when I was like in my, when I was like 19, 20, 21, hell, through 24, really the 20s, I'm like, there's no way in today's day and age I would deal with half of the things I dealt with in my 20s. Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not. But like, it takes time, wisdom, Life got to be liking more for you, for you to realize that, you know, I mean, maybe some people got figured out, but child, I didn't either. So it's fine. But anyway, so, um, one by one, the ladies basically give like a kind of a toast to Wendy and how they feel about her. And it was actually very beautiful. Like it, it was, it was really, really nice. And then Jacqueline went last, but then she then somehow turned around and made it about her. And even Mia didn't even do that. And everyone was like, girl. And I'm just like, I just want Jacqueline to go. <laughs> go away. Go away from here. But anyway. So then from there, they transitioned from talking about... Um, because I think there was more talk about Stacy and TJ, but they, but Stacy kind of transitioned. It's like, well, no, 
Actually, not to be in your business, Jazzy, but we just need to know more what's going on with you and your guy. Um, you know, you're engaged, so what's going on with you and Darius? And Sean, <laughs> more of I have questions it occurred. So she is talking in code and says just being real about the fact that, okay, your man cheated on you or was he your man? That's a T. That's a T. Because, and the reason why I'm saying that is because, so he has two kids, right? And the timeline is, according to her, they were already dating for two years. The first kid is three now. And then the second one is like, one. But wait, I think she's with them for five years. But the way it sounds like it's like it, it's given the baby mama was there before you. And so as, as she's telling the story and talking and like really saying this, you see everyone just doing the math equation in their head. And one thing that I will say that I give credit to whether I like you or not as a person on the show, Ashley was spot on what she said right there. The math ain't mathin'. And I'm agreeing with that. I, I was trying to do the math and it wasn't mathin'. I'm like, so... Were you originally there or was the baby mom the main and you took over the questions? I've got questions and I'm sure as the season progresses, we're going we're gonna to find out more. So anyway, so then that ends and then from there, somehow some way it becomes K versus Mia yet again. And I'm trying I don't even remember what caused them to start going back and forth again, but they start going back and forth again um briefly. I'm not I'm not even sure what ended it, but they went back and forth again. Oh, it was like the stripper versus drug dealer thing. Like I don't I'm not sure why that keeps <laughs> why is that such a thing. Um but then K got her together. Oh, that's what happened. Kay got her together because every single time when Kay has whacked her, she's whacked her and Mia don't have nothing to say. She'd be trying to clap back, but her clapbacks are not clapbacking. They're just not. And then from there, then um, Stacy out of nowhere is like, Ashley, I want to make a toast to you. And she actually meant it. And she's like, um, you have helped me loosen up with this group. Um, and you could tell Stacy's loosened up. <laughs> she definitely has loosened up. You could tell. And she's like, you know, it's just really nice to see someone who has, who's dealing with a similar situation as me. And I have you all to kind of talk to and lean on because I'm trying to figure this out, you know, with her getting a divorce and they're kind of going through it at the same time. Stacy, girl, though, I hope Ashley don't do what she always does to you. I really hope she don't. Because I love that you like her. But Ashley is usually friends with no one. So I really hope for your sake, she don't do that to you. She don't do what she be doing to people. Hopefully, she's not viewing you as her new Candace. I'm just saying. Anyway. Um... Because when she said that, I was like, Arr. that was literally my reaction. I'm like, Arr. I don't know if you should trust her, but okay. Um, <laughs> and then from there, Jacqueline said something weird again. And then they were just like, okay, it's time to go. <laughs> they wrapped it up because of her. And then fast forward, I guess a lot of them ended up staying up super late. Um... And Wendy the next morning looks like hell. <laughs> like her wig is just a mess. It's like, it's still on because it clearly is a unit. So it's still there, but she looks wild. And Ashley looks just as crazy as her too. Both of them look hungover as hell. And 
What's funny, what was funny about this final scene is, of course, Giselle's fine because Giselle, Giselle turns, turns it in every single time early. She doesn't party with them usually, like, I don't think she's ever really partied with them ever. Um, and then Karen did the same thing. She turned it, she turned it in. So everyone else was up still. Um, and then, like, um, <laughs> but I guess some of the others end up going to sleep later or earlier or something like that. I don't know. But... <laughs> Stacy was joking with Wendy. She's like, you know what normally cures my thing is just to drink some more. You should just drink some more. <laughs> and Wendy's like, leave me alone. <laughs> you could tell she did not want to be bothered. And but Stacy, because she's so used to like, you know, her job when she was working for QVC, she had to get up super early in the morning. So she's chipper as all get out and asking one by one, if you are you ladies ready to go? <laughs> it was just so I'm not going to hold you. I don't know where the narrative about Stacy being boring is coming from. Because she is so awkward. is so like the opposite of the rest of the ladies. It's kind of funny to me. I'm not going to hold you. So like her personality for me is carrying her. Like I like her. I'm just saying. And it's just a breath of fresh air and something different. Something new. Because I don't think we've ever had someone like her on, like, I don't know. I can't even describe if it, there's anyone else on the other franchises that are, you know what? I lied. She's quirky. She's kind of like a, um, I mean, I'm not saying she's her, but I would say personality-wise, like a Kathy Hilton. Kind of kooky. That was what was missing. We need a little kooky. Yeah. Because, I mean, Karen is too, but Karen's also the grand dame. So, you know, her kookiness is only, it only, is so, it only happens to a certain extent. Like, Stacy's is kooky, but kind of clueless, and it's hilarious, and I love it. <laughs> but anyway, that does conclude the episode. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode. Um, I did, but anyway, that does conclude the video. Please like, comment, subscribe, Please to, like, channel comment, subscribe to the channel if you get anything out of the content. It's your girl Sharon, aka the Mel Nostalgic Runner, and I will see you next time. Bye! My